Hello Year 1. We're now looking at Lesson 2 in Finding Volume and Capacity. And today we're looking at something called capacity. Now capacity means the amount of liquid a container can hold when it's full. I'll say that again. <clears throat> capacity is the amount of liquid that could be water or juice or milk, whatever it is, the amount of liquid <clears throat> a container can hold when it's full. And we're looking at the picture here. We're looking at a bottle and a mug. Bottle and a mug. And we're saying here, which has the greater capacity, the bottle or the mug? In other words, which can hold the most liquid? Can the bottle hold the most liquid? Or can the mug, the cup, the mug hold the most liquid? How could we work that out? That's right, we could fill them and see who's, which has got the, much wa much water, the most water. But then that would be hard to work it out. So let's have a look what we've got here. We could use a little cup as a unit. We could use one cup as one unit. So we could say, how many of these little cups of water will fill that bottle? And it's three. And then we'll use the same cup. And how many of these little cups would fill that mug? And it's two. So which has the greater capacity? Which container holds the most liquid? Is it the bottle or the mug? Is it the bottle or the mug? That's right, it's the bottle because you can get three of these cups in there but only two of those cups in a mug. The bottle and the mug are filled with water. Water from the bottle fills three cups. So if we fill that, it would go into that cup, that cup and that cup. Three cups will be filled from this bottle. Water from the mug fills two cups. If we fill that, it would fill that one and that one. Two cups. The capacity of the bottle is three units. The capacity of the mug is two units. The bottle has a greater capacity than the mug. It then says, can we use other containers and other cups? So we could say, here's a bottle and here's a beaker. Which has the greater capacity? Is it the bottle or is it the beaker? Well, we could fill them up with water and then I could use my egg cup again and I could see how many egg cups my bottle fills and then how many egg cups my beaker fills and then I can tell you which has the greater capacity. Perhaps you could find two things in your house to fill up. Make sure you ask first and perhaps use a little egg cup or something small to call like a cup or a unit and see if you can work that out. In fact, on the other page, we've got a little activity to do that where it asks us here to have a bottle and some cups or a bottle and egg cup, something. Look for containers around you like a bottle or a little beaker or something. Guess the capacity of each container. So here's a bottle. How many egg cups do you think would fill my bottle? Have a good guess. Then try it and see if you're right. Then perhaps try something else. Here is a beaker. How many of my egg cups will fill the beaker? And have a go and see if you can get it right. And see if the more you do, you get better and better. Let's have a look at our guided practice. It says each cup is one unit. Here's A. Now, here's a container. And it says the capacity of this container is about how many units? So if we tipped out the water, it would fill this many cups. How many units have we covered? How many have we filled? That's that's right, it's five because we've counted five. So the water in here will fill one, two, three, four, five of our little cups. So the capacity of this container 
is about five units. There might be a little bit left over, but it's about five. Let's have a look at this. Here we've got a bowl. What's the amount of water in this bowl? How many units have filled this bowl? Well, if we look at follow the arrow and we've had one, two, three. So the amount of water in the bowl is about three units. Well done. Have a go at worksheet two pages 128 and 29 and there's more practice of looking at capacity.